Hi everyone, my name is Vignesh and I am currently pursuing a degree in Artificial Intelligence and Data Science at the Hindustan Institute of Technology. Today we will be exploring the concept of graph in data structure. Graphs are powerful tools that allows you to represent and understand relationships and connections whether we are mod modeling social networks, transportation systems or recommendation engines, graphs play an essential role. A graph denoted by G consists of two primary components, nodes and edges. Nodes often represent by the symbol of V stand for entities or objects. Edges denoted as E represent the relationships or connections between these nodes. Let's think of an example. Imagine a social network. Each person is a node and each friendship is an edge connection. To note this structure gives us a visual map of connections. Graph terminology. There are some important terms to know when working with graphs. Adjacency. Two nodes are adjacent if they are directed directly connected by an edge. Paths and cycles. A path is a sequence of edges connecting nodes. A cycle is a path that starts and ends at the same node. These terms will help us describe various types of graphs more precisely. Types of graphs. Graphs can be classified into several types depending on the properties of edges and connections. First, undirected graph. These graphs have edges that don't follow a direction, meaning the relations is bidirectional. A good example would be a friendship on social media. If A is friend with B, then B is friends with A as well. Second, directed graph. Are the edges have a direction? Think of Twitter if person A follows person B. It doesn't mean that B follows A back, so the relationship flows in only one direction. Next, vector graphs. These graphs have edges with weights, which go to represent distances, costs, or strength of relationships. An example would be a map where each road has a distance value. This allows us to find the shortest or most efficient path between locations. Next, graph representation methods. There are two main ways to represent graph in a computer system. First, adjacency matrix. This is a square matrix where each cell represents the connection or weight between two nodes. If there is an edge between nodes, we mark it in the matrix. If there is no edge, we leave it blank. Or use a symbol. This method is partially useful for dense graphs but requires more memory. Adjacency matrix or this like matrix format presents. Next, weighted graphs are also present in like this matrix. Next, adjacency list. This is a list where each node has its own list of adjacent nodes. It's more memory efficient, especially for sparse graphs where there are fewer connections. For example, if node A is connected to nodes B and C, then it and adjacency list. A's list will include P and C. Adjacency list are like this. List format presented. And so also weighted graphs are uh, represent this like. Next if space required small or sparse. Small uh, 
graphs are required to adjacency list representation. Uh, why the traversal is easy and uh, memory is less. Next, very big or tense graph like matrix format to find if an edge exists. One edge find out is easy way to adjacency matrix. Traverse the graph. Full traverse the graph is efficient to adjacency list. Next, exploring graph traversal. To explore or search through a graph, we use traversal algorithms. The two most common ones are depth for search. This explores a deep as possible in one branch before backtracking. Imagine a mass where you keep going down one path until you reach a dead end. Then you go back and try a different path. DFS is often implemented using a stack structure. Next, breadth first search. DFS, this explores all nodes that the current level before moving to nodes at the next level. A practical example would be if you were looking for all your immediate friends first, then friends of friends next, and so on. BFS uses a queue, which is ideal for exploring nodes level by level. Next, graph applications. Graphs are incredibly versatile and have practical application across various domains. There are a few examples. Social networks, graphs model relationships between people. For example, LinkedIn might use graphs to suggest people you may know based on mutual connections. Recommendation system sites like Amazon or Netflix use graphs to connect users with uh, item they might like based on similar users' preferences. Route planning. Graphs are crucial for mapping and navigation system like Google Maps, which use graphs to calculate the shortest route between the two points. Each of these examples shows the real-world power of graphs for representing complex inter interconnecting data. To summarize, graphs provide a structured way to represent relationships and connections we discussed. Different types of graphs, undirected, directed, and vector graph representations adjacency matrix and adjacency list, graph traversal methods, DFS and BFS, and practical applications of graphs in real life. Graph helps us visualize and analyze relationships and they are fundamental to many algorithm in computer science. Thank you for your, your attention.